Hi guys, so continuing with the topic umbilical cord prolapse. In my previous video, I discussed about its definition, types, etiology, incidence. In this video, I will discuss about the diagnosis, prognosis, and the management of umbilical cord prolapse. So, first of all, diagnosis. How we can diagnose that there is a cord prolapse? So in the case of occult prolapse, when the umbilical cord lie just along with the presenting part, in that case, it is difficult to diagnose. So with the pervaginal examination, it is very difficult to diagnose that there is an occult prolapse. So in that case, this condition is only assessed with the help of electronic fetal monitoring continuously which shows the which shows the deceleration or decrease in fetal heart rate because when there is a uterine contractions because of the uterine contractions, the presenting part compresses, mechanically compresses the umbilical blood vessels. So, the blood flow stops, which leads to decrease in fetal heart rate. Moving towards our next type, that is cord presentation or funic presentation. In this case, while doing pervaginal examination, the pulsation is felt through the intact membranes so during the purpose examination pulsation or the cord pulsation is easily felt through intact membranes Because in this case, membranes usually remain intact. So moving towards our third type, that is cord prolapse. In this, we can easily palpate the umbilical cord with the fingers. In this case, we can only feel the pulsation through the intact membranes. In this, we can directly palpate the umbilical cord with the fingers directly palpate the umbilical cord with the fingers this is the prognosis or the outcome of this condition that is cord prolapse in the case of fetus So by the movement when cord prolapse occur there is a risk of fetal anoxia increases anoxia means absence of oxygen so why the risk of fetal anoxia one because of mechanical compression by the presenting part presenting part or vasospasm means the constriction of blood vessels blood vessels constrict because of cold and irritation occurs when the umbilical cord exposed from the vulva when the umbilical cord comes out of the vulva there is a risk of irritation and the cold 
which leads to vasus pass so as a result blood flow stops as the blood vessels or the umbilical vessels are colluded because of which there is a lack of oxygen or the lack of blood flow occurs so that result in anoxia while in the case of mother emergency operative delivery there are chances of emergency operative delivery so in this that there is a risk of infection during the operative delivery plus blood loss plus anesthesia next is management of cord prolapse so under management of cord prolapse firstly we should have to assess that whether the baby is alive or dead by checking the fetal heart rate next is maturity of fetus we should have to assess that whether the fetus is mature that the mother is pregnant for 37 weeks or not or assess the cervical dilatation that how much the cervix is dilated assess from 1 to 10 cm when there is a 10 cm dilatation of cervix means there is a full dilatation so in the case if baby is dead when there is no fetal heart rate in the absence of fetal heart rate before announcing that the baby is dead firstly we should have to confirm it with ultrasound ust means ultrasound ultrasonography sorry and if it is confirmed from the ultrasonography that the baby is dead in that case wait for the spontaneous vaginal delivery spontaneous means by its own without any help or destructive operation should be done like in the case of vertex presentation craniotomy is done to remove the bulk so that it can easily deliver from the birth canal in the second case if the baby is alive and immediate safe vaginal delivery is possible in the case of cord prolapse if the baby is alive and immediate safe vaginal delivery is possible in that case so in the case of vertex presentation use ventos or forceps for the delivery of the baby for the delivery of the head so that with the help of these instruments the mechanical compression on the umbilical cord is released because of the presenting part while in the case of breech presentation breech extraction should be done only by the experts vaginal delivery should be done only by the experts next possibility is if the immediate vaginal delivery is not possible
so in this case when the immediate vaginal delivery is not possible then there are two conditions first one is provide first aid means if immediately we are unable to do the or because of some reasons we are not able to do the vaginal delivery immediately in that case first aid should be done so that the compression on the umbilical cord is relieved so under first aid bladder filling should be done so here is a diagram of bladder filling this is a fully filled bladder fully extended bladder so bladder is extended by normal line that is ns with the quantity 400 to 750 ml is installed in the bladder so that bladder is extended and relieve the pressure on the umbilical cord so if the bladder is extended it pushes the baby backwards pushes the presenting part of the baby backwards so in that way the pressure on the umbilical cord is relieved so next under the first aid we can done provide sims exaggerated or elevated sims position Trendlin Berg position or knee chest position So this is the diagram of exaggerated or the elevated sims position in this the pillows is given under the buttocks so here i write pillows are placed under the buttocks so that the presenting part should be pushed backwards to relieve the pressure on the umbilical cord so this is a knee chest position in the knee chest position with the help of gravity the presenting part is pushed backward or pulled backward by the gravity so it relieves it helps to relieve the pressure on the umbilical cord so under this next possibility is definite management if any of this is not working then in that condition immediate cesarean section should be done so under if the baby is alive and there are no any chances of safe vaginal delivery not for now and not afterwards or not later so in that case cesarean section should be done if there is no any possibility of safe vaginal delivery now and afterwards in that case only cesarean section is a best option so this is the management of cord prolapse if the question arises that write the management of cord prolapse and the weightage of marks is 8 marks in that case how you attempt the answer firstly you should have to give the definition of the cord prolapse then you write the scheme of management and then nursing management which covers the more marks 
so in that you should have to frame the diagnosis i'll make a separate video for the attemptation of paper that how you should have to attempt the examination so that's all about the court prolapse if you have any kind of query please ask me in the comment section you can also suggest me topic for the further videos and some of you are all already suggesting me that's that's actually i'm appreciating that so if you find my videos useful then please share it with other students too so at last stay safe stay at home thank you